Hi guys, in this video, I will be showing you how to simply create a minimalist Shopify website. So first, of course, you have to create a store if you don't have. This is pretty easy. All you have to do is to answer this. Okay, create a Shopify and then create a store. So which of this best describes you? You can tap, I'm just starting. What do you plan to sell? You just have to select from any of this. Let's just say products I buy or make for myself. And then this is what it looks like. Now, so of course you have to add other products and some of the things here. You have to fill in the information needed. In. But for our website, let's just focus first on adding products and collections so that I can show you what it looks like if you create a minimalist website. So to add a product, you just have to click add product and then add title description. You can generate a description here. For example, if you want to generate description for aesthetic bags, you just have to type it right here and then import your products, your bags, products. And then after that, you can add a cost and add some information below. Once done, click save. Okay, so if you want to add more, then you have to click add product again. So to create collections, since you have your product already, you have, or you can click create collections, add a title, add image, add description if you want, and then click save. Now, after you save, uh, you can now browse the product that you want to include to your collection. So since I've added some products, then as you can see, um, I can add this product to my collection. But if you want to, you know, um, if you have tons of products and if you want to create lots of collection list or collection here, then you have to add more products. For example, I want to create a collection or collection list for a Myanmar bags, uh, Lao bags and Bangkok bags. So I can just easily, uh, create a collection for each uh, product okay so i have here um collection for Bangkok bag myanmar bag and lao bag okay so later i'm gonna show you what it looks like if you have created or if you have added product first here on your shopify before creating or making a minimalist website so if you have your products ready and if you have created your collections here, then we can now proceed to creating your minimalist website. So all you have to do is go to online store. Okay, so what is this? Okay, wait. Okay, anyways, you can also uh, filter this to best selling product A to C if you have tons of products, if you import tons of products to your collection list. Okay, and then after that, these are my collections. So to start with our minimalist website, you can now simply go to your online store, tap this one, and then the first one here is themes. And actually there are tons of templates that you can use, but these templates are not for free. There are only a few templates here that we can use for our website. So if you go to see more themes, then you can see this uh, samples of themes right here. If you don't want to, you know, add some pictures or if you want to create minimalist, I mean, simple website, then I can show you or we can use this Dawn theme. Dawn theme is the default theme. Okay. And you can just simply add your very ordinary, very simple you just need to import some pictures. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Let's customize this one. So if you tap customize, then this is the interface. This is the home page of your minimalist website. Okay, so you can tap uh, home page, this arrow facing down to see product page, um, checkout page. Okay, so as you can see, if you want to change your announcement bar, for example, this welcome to my store, if you want to change that to welcome to aesthetic bags, then welcome to my shop, welcome to my minimalist uh, website, everything is up to you. Okay, so as you can see, here it is. And if you want to change uh, the, uh, what we call uh, a scheme, okay, the color of your 
website, then you can go to scheme and then choose uh, the best color that suits your website. Okay, so once you're done with this, then we can now proceed. Uh, always remember to tap save before you proceed to another thing. So in settings, you can see this following logos, colors, typography, and so on. But for the meantime, for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a logo. Okay, so it's up to you to explore later if you want. Okay, so to add logo, you just have to click logo. Okay, select image. And I highly suggest go to Canva to create your own logo. But for this um, tutorial, let's just find some free images in the Shopify library. Okay, for example, this one. Okay, tap this, select, and then save. Now, if you want to change or you want to put this at the top center, you just have to click, go to the right side, click top center, and then tap save. Okay, so we're done with the header. Now, let's proceed to the um, template. Okay, so to add image, you just have to click add image. If you want to add image from your Shopify store or for your products, then you just have to click select image and select the best products that you want to appear here. Okay, so that's the importance of adding products first to your Shopify. Okay, so these are your products and then you can change this. You can change this browse or these products if you want. You can change this shop all button. If you want to see more tutorials about Shopify, please do visit my site. You can see tons of Shopify tutorials there. You can see how to add something to your footer, to your home, to your header, to your template. Okay, so to add more, you just have to click this add section right here. And I want to add image with text. So if you want to add image, you just have to click this select image again, and then add the image from your products in your Shopify. You can change this to, let's just say, um, trending, something like that. And then add description below. And actually, um, you can generate a description if you want. But I highly suggest to create your own. For this tutorial, let's just use this uh, Shopify here. Okay, for our button label, you can change this to add now or add to cart. Okay, everything is up to you. Tap C. Don't forget to tap C. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Now, if you want to add more, just click this add section and you can add more like videos. You can add featured lists, product lists, and so on. So for collection lists, since we have added a collection list earlier, the reason why we have added or we have created collections to your Shopify is for this. So what you're going to do here is, let me go to collection list first. So what you're going to do here is to simply tap each of this picture or gallery. Select collection, tap the collection that you want to add. So I have your bank bag. Second, I have here um, Myanmar. And then third, I have here now. Okay, so that's the good thing about adding products and creating your collections first before creating your minimalist website. So you can just simply uh, explore more if you want. So for footer, you can add footer. You just have to click add section to add like shipping and returns, terms and policies. Okay, so text, image. But if you want to know how to add shipping and returns, terms and policies, and so on, let's just say Shopify tutorials. You just have to go to my website and see and watch some of my tutorials there related to shopify like how to add how to add add button how to change something like this okay so thank you so much for watching if you want me to create a tutorial just leave a comment down below please do subscribe like and share my video it would be a, a big help for me thank you so much see you in my next video